Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is currently, let's see if this will focus, 9.39 in the morning. And I have piles of laundry. I kept putting it off because I'm like, I'm not gonna do a load every single day. I'm trying to like conserve my detergent just in case we can't find it eventually. So I'm making sure I have a full load before I do it. But I think it got a little out of hand because now I have like four full loads <laughs> instead of just one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. George, you wanna tell everybody good morning? Say good morning. There's Tiger. They're gonna help me do the laundry apparently. They just heard me open this. This is why they're wanting their treat. <laughs> That's why they're gonna help me with the laundry. Okay, so I have that load going. I haven't even curled my hair today. <laughs> I washed it and blow dried it. Um, and then we took a car ride. Um, as much as I'm like an introvert and I like being at home, I don't wanna just be stuck at home. So we've just been doing a lot of like car rides at least once a day. But anyways, we drove in to like buy our big, like our closest mall just cause I wanted to see it. I've gotta do my hair, it's hard watching it. Um, I just wanted to see how empty it was cause everything's closed. So we took a drive this morning I got to see that. So that was pretty cool. And then we have a new like Amazon um, building that was put up. And so we went and looked at that up close just cause it's huge from the highway. So we just kind of been driving around to get out of town. But I did want to let you guys know, I've been getting a ton of questions about homeschooling. I'm going to cover that here in a little bit. Um, I don't have my phone right here and I just have a lot of notes on it. I can tell a lot of you guys are like panicking a little bit or very concerned. And so I'm going to give you my two cents about it and my tips and tricks. Um, you know, I'll do it here in a little bit once I get it going. And like I said, I have like all my tips on my phone and I don't know where I put it. But I will be talking about that in today's video. So I can tell today like my mood's changing. I think I'm kind of like starting to wear down just cause we can't go out. And I'm not much of a like a huge shopper, but I just like to go walk around stores and get out. Plus it's rainy here. It's supposed to start getting a lot warmer. It'll be nice when we can like get outside and take walks and fresh air. But um, I can just kind of tell my mood's slowly dropping, um, but it's fine. We're all gonna get through this. Um, I'm trying to think what else I need to do today. I don't know, but I have a list. I've just been keeping so many lists on my phone and actual list, but sometimes I get in bed and I forget my paper and pen. Um, so I've been just like grabbing my phone and writing it down, even like things we need. So when we do have to go into a store, cause I'm bad about like, typically like on a normal week, I would just go in and get it. And then if I forget, I'll go in the next day. Um, but now I'm like, okay, we have to go in as little as possible. So I'm trying to keep up running list of things. Um, and a list for like friends and family that are around me. Cause like we're all looking for each other. So the big one right now is like pasta sauce. My mom can't find it. She has like pasta and she has the meat, but no pasta sauce. So it's just stuff like that I've got going. But we're gonna go ahead and get into today's video. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I hope your spirits are up. Um, there's a part of me that like doesn't even want to vlog right now, but if these are helpful to you, it makes it worth it. It's helpful to me because it kind of lifts my spirits because I can't just think about like sitting on the couch and doing nothing, which is what I did yesterday. I think yesterday was one of the first days I've like taken off and didn't do hardly anything. I did get on Instagram and do some stories. I did post and like I stayed caught up on like comments from previous videos, but I didn't film, I didn't edit, and I literally did nothing. <laughs> so it was kind of nice, it kind of wasn't, but at least today this will kind of keep me a little more focused and on a track. So let's get to going. Well, something's happening. <laughs> I just took these down. I'm having the itch to switch. It's like I need something to do. So I think we're gonna take these. These have a lot of gray and pink in them. Um, and it's always looked really good with this comforter, but I'm just kind of ready for a change. I think we're gonna take these. Will you bring one of these in here with us? Yeah. I've been looking for a while for something for Savannah's playroom back here, because I haven't been able to find something for this wall up here. Um, and I just haven't loved this sign. I felt like it needed to be something bigger. So I'm thinking about hanging all three of those and it's gonna tie in with her, what is this, her futon and then her yeah. pink. I think that's gonna look really, really, really good. Yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, so we're gonna move those, which char starts that ripple effect. So then I'm gonna take, I've been wanting family pictures in our bedroom. So I think we're gonna take <laughs> these down and move them to where 
those good. were and then until we figure out what to do up here um we're gonna put our big mirror back so we recently had family pictures taken and i've got some of the boys and all of that but i'm not wanting to spend a ton of money right now to like have pictures blown up until all this passes we're just trying to like not spend a ton i mean we're still shopping and stuff but um we just want to wait so i think that'll make everything work until everything calms down yeah. i think that's gonna look good so you guys are ready to itch to switch with me <laughs> let's do this i'm gonna go ahead and take these down and put them in my bedroom and then chase is gonna be the one that hangs them Okay, another thing I know it's gonna change, I think these are gonna look really cool in here. Like, what I'm wanting to do is like how these three were all that direction. Um, I had got one, our photographer came out, and this was like right when I think things were just now starting to get bad here, or they hadn't gotten bad yet. And I swear it was like 24, 48 hours later. But, um, I was gonna put, like I have one of George, one of Tiger, and one of Savannah I'm gonna put on this wall, but like I said, I don't wanna do that yet. So I think these are gonna be perfect. I may even like that better. I don't know. But the one problem and it is gonna start, it always starts something. I'm gonna have pictures here. I think I still like that wreath up there and I'm gonna have to because I can't put a picture up there if I have pictures here. But then I have a picture here. So I think that may have to eventually change because I don't wanna be like in a photo album. <laughs> I like it here, but I'll have to figure out. Oh, I might put the gray piece. Sorry, Chase is trying to work. I think what I'm gonna do is, yes, got it. You got it. I'm going to move this piece in there, and I'll probably just flip flop these. I didn't want a picture here, because I had all those pictures there. Does that make sense? But now I can put a picture there, because I'm gonna have a mirror there, and I've gotta figure out what I did with that mirror. I think it's, I think it's in here. <laughs> yeah, so the one I had hung, I wanna say, <laughs> do you guys remember? It's not this one, this is my big one for my beauty room. I wanna say it was this one, but this is a dark gray. But I also have one in Savannah's room. But I think it was this one, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think this is the one I had hanging up, which presents a problem, because it's in her room. So I, mean, I may have to flip mirrors with you, is that okay? <laughs> we'll just see. That wasn't a happy okay. <laughs> it does look good in here though. So that might be a small problem. What height do you think? That looks pretty good there. You like that height? Yeah. Like how it draws the eye up. Okay. Yeah, I think those three on that wall is really gonna fill it up better. It's gonna bring like the pink and the gray together. It's gonna kinda tie it in but she doesn't like things like overwhelming. I think those are like calm and subtle. I think that's gonna be the perfect art piece. Don't you think? I think so. I think it's gonna look really good and bring in the colors. Like I don't know said. what I'll do with that. Right now she just has like things taped on it, but I can paint that to say something else or I can get rid of it. But I'm gonna let Chase hang these and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. I got all the nails up, they're measured out. So now we'll see how good I did at making sure they're level. All right, first one. I think this is gonna make this room just like Pull together. It's always been a little, like, one piece of art can throw off a whole room. And this is, I'm gonna prove to you, because this one was driving me bonkers, but I just didn't know what to put up here, and then all of a sudden it just, like, clicked. I was like, this is gonna be perfect, because the grays match up so well, and then the pinks. And it's just gonna make it look a little bit more grown up, which I think is perfect, because it's her age. Yeah, what do you think? I think. I got this one a little too high. Can you just push on it? Yeah. <laughs> That's when I just push on it a little hard. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So yeah, that was project see. one. You guys let me know down below in the description box what you think. I'm gonna fix this pillow and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm trying to show this to you guys like without the glare, but that's what it looks like. And these are from Decenio. I did a sponsorship with them before if you guys are curious. I know somebody will ask, but they sell like the artwork and the frames and the frames alone I love. I just think they're so like simple. I love the white. 
I don't know if we have a code for them or not. So. If we do, we'll leave it down below in the description box. I don't yeah. know if it's still good. I know we had one, but it's been a while. We can always I... leave the link to it. Yeah, so if you guys want to check them out, but ooh, that looks, looks awesome. Okay. Next room. Next. So, just so you guys know, he literally blends in with Savannah's Playroom rug exactly. Like, they're the exact same color. Look at that. Is that not crazy? You can see the one little black, and that's the bottom of his paw. <laughs> and his little eyes and nose. But I always think it's funny when he's on here laying on it. It's the only place he's allowed to shed, and you don't notice. <laughs> Okay, so I was just about to take this one into her room and switch it out and she wasn't happy with me and she was like, no, I don't think that was the one hanging and she came in here and this has the very top of our mirror when it was hanging and it was the darker one. So she gets to keep her lighter one. So win-win, I cannot wait to see these hung. But luckily when we hung those pictures up here, I think I hung them, like we didn't move the screws. I put the two outside ones where the screws were with this one. So I don't think he's gonna have to do anything but remove the screws from the pictures and put in like the heavier duty ones. Yeah, because these are so short, they didn't go all the way into the studs. Right. So I'll get the big ones back out and they'll go in the same holes and they'll go all the way into the studs. Perfect, so he won't have to remeasure for this, which yeah. makes it nice. Makes it a lot easier. Yay, it's just coming together. Because that mirror is super heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. <clears throat> so, and it's from Ross, you guys are gonna ask. Ross or Kirkland's, that's where I buy my mirrors. Okay. What are we doing now? The mirror? Going into the bedroom in there. Okay. The boys are just following us from space to space. <laughs> yep, see? <Yeah. laughs> Follow daddy. Hey, what toy do you have, George? I don't think that's yours. Let me see. One of Savvy's. <gasps> Dad's Savvy's. No, no, let go. He's got one of your dogs. <sighs> George, you no. gotta let go. No, let she's go. Right. She's right over Thank you. That one's not yours. Let's go find one of yours. <laughs> so we have a hard time finding. He loves stuffed animals, clearly, but he can chew them up so easily. But before, like everything shut down in the world, <laughs> I found these at um, Home Goods, and he can't like chew them up. Like they last a lot longer. And then I bought Tiger a little pink one too, but he doesn't chew on stuff as much. I a tiger? You yeah. boys are being ornery. Yeah. Here you go, George. Chew on that one. Come here, Tiger. Let's get your pink one. Let's get your pink one. Where'd you go, Tiger? Where's Tiger? Oh, there he is. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Okay, while Chase is working on that side, I'm going to work on this over here. Let's see how it goes. Behind every piece of art is like 50 holes. <laughs> yeah, I think that was. What do you think about that? The other would go right here. Does that look like it's aligned right? Yeah, I think that's gonna look good. I kind of want to do it this way again but then my screws would show. We just take those out. Eh, I have to fill them. Let me see what this looks like. Okay, my next dilemma is, this is the one I just took out of our bedroom. It could go up here and look really nice, but I also like when this white one up here, just because I think it's um, more updated, the picture's more updated and so is the frame. But if I take this one, we're starting a thing. Because <laughs> then I have nothing for over there. And this one won't fit. I know somebody's going to say that. That won't fit. So, and is that going to be too much? Like if I hang this one here, then I'm going to have a picture here and here. But I guess that's all. I don't know. Let me hang this one up and we'll just see what we think. Okay, so here is what that looks like. I kind of like it because it's like... The wood's here, there's gold, there's the silver. Um, I do like this better than what I had up there. I felt like it was getting a little too farmhousey, where I'm more of like a glam farmhousey, like more of like a rustic glam. So I think that looks better. I will try this here in a second, but I'm gonna leave it like this and get everything hung and see if we like it, and then I'll flip those out and see if we would like the white over there better. I don't know, I'm thinking I might like the white, but I don't wanna touch it yet.
And this is why we have so much laundry piled up is because I can find a million things to do other than laundry. <laughs> laundry just doesn't excite me. But yeah. we keep wearing clothes for some reason. It's not exciting. And we still just have so much. I'm like, what do I ever leave in the house? I think I'm going to make a roll. Whatever you sleep in, you have to wear the next day. <laughs> that works. No, I like getting that <laughs> fresh and clean, but it's just so funny. I'm like, how are we, how, how are we producing so much laundry? We're not even leaving the house. Oh, he's hanging them. I'll show them to you guys. Okay, let's go over <clears throat> here. It's going to be kind of a glare with the windows, so I'm going to try to... Oh, I think this is going to look so good. It's always one of those things. I'm like, why did we not do this sooner? It takes a little bit for my head to work. Because I think we know at some point it's going to happen. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> we rearrange so much we know that it's going to happen at some point. So. I just don't think I've thought about putting the pictures in here. And what's funny is I've been wanting the picture, like I've been wanting to print off pictures to put in here. So. This is the hardest part, trying to. Did the mess up perfectly. Now I just wish we would have done this before we took pictures because okay. some of our family pictures were on the sofa and we had pictures above us. Does that make sense? So like we were sitting on the sofa and then there's pictures of us sitting on the sofa. <laughs> so we didn't get Minnie like that. She like angled us a different way. Okay. Yeah, that was good. So we can't see him from this way because of the glare, but just so you get an idea. Aw, oh, I think I'm going to like that. And then when we lay in bed at night, it's us and not just... Yeah, Plants. I think I'm gonna like having the family pictures in here. Yeah. They just, they're so much more bold in here because it's so just, I was gonna say white and gray, but so is our living room. But I just think the mirror looks really good in the living I room. I do too. Every time I see my intro over on Till Vacuum Do His Part, I'm like, oh, I like the mirror better, but I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna give these up. But now it works. Well, Perfect. Ready to go on to the last part? <laughs> the mirror? Which you just, shouldn't be as bad. You just think it's the last part. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's more. There's always something. Well, we've got nothing else to do today, so. Yeah. This, like, find something to do that, like, feeds your soul. Like, I was losing it today, but I already feel so much better just rearranging. So. Okay. All right. I gotta go find the screws for this thing. Okay. So, here is how it turned out in this room. I feel like that works really well. Also, just another tip, a subscriber told me to put my vacuum underneath this chair. I don't know if you can see her down there. And I love that. Then she's nice and tucked away. I had her out over here, but I do like her just being under there and then she'll come out to vacuum. So that's how this room turned out. And then I don't know if I ever showed you this side of the room over here. So there are the pictures, I know it's bright, but here's how this space turned out. So I feel like that works really well too. So. Super happy with it all. So glad it did not take long. It wasn't a lot of work either. You always think some of these projects are gonna be huge and then they're not, like at all. That didn't take, it's probably less than 30 minutes. So there we go. Okay guys, now that we're done rearranging the house <laughs> um, and before lunch, I want to sit down and go over some homeschool stuff with you guys. My biggest thing I wanna tell you, hold on, I'm trying to get my notes open. Um, this is okay is don't panic your kids are gonna be okay I'm getting a ton of questions about what I'm using I can show you what I'm using but I don't think you should run out and buy it like what we're using realistically cost us around twelve hundred dollars and that's for the entire year and you guys are only needing something for a few months so I personally think it would be insane to go buy a whole year's worth worth of school. Um, I've also used like My Father's World. It's another amazing program and it's more affordable, but it's still like, and I'm basing this off like Savannah's age, like fifth grade, around fourth or fifth grade work is still, I looked it up for you guys, it's still around $500. <laughs> so I don't think you need to do that. I think your kids are gonna be okay. I think there's things you can do, and I'm gonna share some of those with you guys without going out and buying a whole set when you don't need a whole year's worth of stuff. Now, if you're looking to homeschool, that's a whole different video, a whole different topic. I'm just trying to help you guys kind of just supplement 
your kids at home. From what I've seen, a lot of teachers are going to stuff online or they're gonna be sending home packets. Um, but if not, just don't panic. The, all the schools know that the kids didn't get this. So they're gonna have to kind of make up for it next year. But the goal is just to kind of keep your kids where they are because you don't want them going like four or five months without school. Because you know even when they just take off the summer, it's kind of hard getting them back into it. So if you were gonna buy something, we use teaching textbooks for math. It's an online program. They don't even need you there. There's a lesson that goes over with them. They have like a hint buddy they can press. It grades it for you. Will you be looking up teaching textbooks how much it is? Yeah. It's not that much. And that's something they can do one lesson a day until they go back to school. I feel like it's good anyways um, over the summer just to keep kids doing one math lesson. Um, so I'll tell you how much that is in a second. And I'll try to leave these links down below in the description box. But that's teaching textbooks. Um, another thing is just make sure they're reading give them plenty of books I don't even know if the libraries are open right now, but split it with friends I know there's like we have libraries like in people's yards around the area and you can go pick out books Obviously, you're gonna have to lie sell them, but just make sure your kids are reading 20 to 30 minutes a day um, what I want you to know is homeschool doesn't look like public school so you don't need to be teaching your kids eight hours a day. Homeschool takes like two hours or less because when you homeschool, you're not adding in lunch and recess and art class. That's all just them playing and having fun. So as far as the work, as long as they're just getting, you know, an hour a day worth of school, however that hour looks, it could be within 10 minutes. It could be a straight hour. Just remember homeschooling does not look like public school. Um, reach out. Price. Okay, how much is it? So I just picked like fourth grade, yeah. math, but it's $43 for a 12 months. So period. $43 and that you would have it for the year. Another thing before you buy it, I think you get the first two weeks free or is it so there many lessons? So there's a free trial and you can do each lesson and try it. So if your kid's in fourth grade, let them start with the fourth grade, but they may actually be above that or behind it. Homeschooling doesn't really line up with public. So if that's too easy for them, now I will say the beginning lessons are always easier than the harder ones at the end, but you can try fourth grade and if you don't like it, try the fifth grade because there are free trials. That may even get you through for a while. Like do a little bit of third, do a little bit of fourth, do a little bit of fifth, and that may just buy you enough time to get you to summer. That's always an option. Um, spelling, there are so many free spelling lists online. You could make up your own words, but if you have like a Pinterest app or just Google spelling, you can do your own spelling test. Um, I know there's a lot of like programs online that you can put them into crosswords and make it fun. But even if you just give them a spelling list, make them copy the words one day, make them put it in a sentence one day and one day have a test. Um, you don't have to make it super hard. Um, Teaching textbooks are another thing for math. If you didn't buy that, you could also make flashcards. So just get note cards. You can even cut them in half so you don't have so many and have the kids write it out. So if they're younger, like two plus two, and then have them put the answer in the back and then you can do flashcards with them or your kids can do it with each other. Um, I feel like writing letters is a good one. That's gonna help with their handwriting. You can check it for grammar. Um, it's good just to know how to hand write a letter. So try to, this is a very good time to try to teach your kids the things that the school system is going to miss. You have them home, let them be home, like have them read, have them keep up on stuff, but teach them how to pay a bill, teach them how to balance a checkbook, teach them how to run the dishwasher. So stuff like that's very important. And while you have them home, I think it's a great idea to teach them. It's like they're getting an extra home ec class. So keep that in mind, but yeah, writing letters, they can write letters to your family members because you guys aren't seeing them as much. You can send them to nursing homes, hospitals. That's just a good way to get them sent out. You can go drop them off right now. So keep that in mind, show them how to properly even address the letter or like the envelope or where the stamp goes, where the address goes, all of that's still learning even though it doesn't seem like it. Um, History is a hard one. I feel like if you're going to slide back on anything, history is kind of where you can take a break right now because they're going to learn as they get older. But on Netflix, there's a Who Was show, Who Was, and they're really fun episodes. I even enjoy watching. I've learned a lot from them, and it's just a fun take on history, and it's normally about two different... Uh, what is there two um there's two uh, historical people figures that about. you learn about and they just make it really fun so let your kids watch that that's a free way to do it google will be your best friend there's a lot of free apps 
give yourself grace. You're gonna need a little bit of screen time. And if you're gonna give them screen time, you can make it where it's a little bit educational like the Who Was show. Um, there's also apps on the phone. Savannah loves a word farm and I let her play that because she's having to learn how to spell because it's like a word search. Um, there's a lot of free math apps. So most of them are gonna have like in-app purchases, but you can just go for the free part. And this is just to get them through until you were technically gonna take a summer anyway. So don't panic do some Google searching. I really don't want you guys to over it. I don't think you just need to go out and buy a ton of stuff. If you can find workbooks online, um, still on Amazon, I heard some of them are sold out. You can do those workbooks where it kind of covers everything, math, spelling, grammar, and they just do a few lessons a day. That's always an option. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. A lot of this, a lot of homeschooling is just like letting them guide the day so like recently savannah's really been into like writing in japanese and so she'll make up a sentence and then get on and google it and write it out in japanese and that's fine like that's okay they're still learning so when your kids ask you about something going on or how something works sit down and just dive deeper than you normally would so normally you'd be like oh yeah it does this and then you move on actually open it up like open up your app, Google it, talk about it. So anytime Savannah asks us about a person, I try to research that person and really talk about them, kind of share what they did in the world or an invention. Like if she wants to know, you know, who invented the light bulb, she talks about a light. We try to just go a little bit deeper into it so she's actually learning. And it's a really fun way to learn because they're wanting to learn. When they're asking you a question about something, they're actually curious about it. And for me, I've learned so much just by her asking questions. So don't overthink it. You guys are going to be okay. Um, just in case you're curious, I'm using Bob Jones University, but I would not go out and find it right now. It was super expensive and um, I have like a love-hate relationship with it. I don't think you guys need it right now. I like a lot of, let me go grab a few of her workbooks just for the brand. Okay, these are stuff you can like buy on Amazon. I buy them at like Mardell. Um, but if you are gonna buy workbooks, these are affordable. These are, this one was $12.99. This is language arts. I've actually pulled this one out. It was grade three, but sometimes I feel like they're way too advanced for where she is. But you just come in here and do one worksheet a day. It wouldn't take long. Um, this Evan Moore is a good one. We switched to a lot of the, um, this brand this year and I really like it. But this is her spelling words. So let me open this up. So like one day she has to copy her spelling words and then the same day she has to cover them and like write the spelling words. So she has to write them twice. And then over here she has to like pick which word goes in there. Um, sometimes there's crosswords, there's fill in the blank, and then the last day we just do a spelling test. So that's what we do. We also do a word of the day. You could easily do this without this workbook. Just pick a word. And even if you did like word of the week or word of the day or however you want to do it, just pick a word and go over the definition with them. Talk about how you use it. Let them try to come up with a way to use it. And then just say throughout the week, I want you to try to use this word. And that will just build on, um, you know, their vocabulary and all that. So you're gonna be okay. I think your teachers are gonna help you reach out to them if you need more resources. You may be able to get some of their books or some of their worksheets, but the biggest thing is don't panic. They're gonna be okay, I promise. Like, we're all gonna be okay. But I did wanna share some of that with you guys. Feel free to leave me any questions down below. I'll try to answer them if I can. We've been homeschooling since Savannah was like in pre-K. So this is all we know. We're gonna continue to homeschool and finish up. I'm not gonna stop just because of public school. We have kind of like taken back a little bit and I'm not gonna put in all the fluff that we don't need. Um, science was another one I was gonna talk to you guys about. Um, there's so many like making slimes, uh, kids experiments. I feel like a lot of their crafts are related to that. Even just like measuring and all that is kind of like chemistry, but kind of like math. So let them cook with you and mix. Obviously we don't cook much here and a lot of mine's microwave, so that doesn't work. But just let kids be kids, let them do art projects have them hand write letters and they're gonna be okay. But like I said, leave me any questions down below if you have them, but they're gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, a lot of you guys keep asking what we're eating. It's pretty much what you guys have seen me cook. We just make it in large amounts. So we've had a lot of chicken and rice. 
So we just made this in the pressure cooker and then we made up like, I think three bags of like the rice that I showed you guys before. And then we can just mix it as needed. We've made spaghetti. Um, Chase's mom actually dropped this off. It's kind of like, I'd say like a Mexican brisket and you kind of make like a taco bowl with it. We've never had this much food in our house, but it's just nice. We can come in here, kind of pick what we're wanting and then heat it up. So you guys know I don't like cooking. So when I cook, I'm just making like a lot of it. So then we just have it in our refrigerator to heat it up other times. Does that make sense? So we probably won't have to cook for a while because we'll have to get through all of this before I have to cook another meal. And we've already had two meals with the chicken and rice. Right. So this will be the third meal with it. So that's how long it's lasting us. So I don't know if you can tell in these sizes, but they're big platters and then we just keep them in here and then we just pull them out as needed. Um, this is another thing if you have a Sam's membership um, and if you're going to pick up more stuff, this will feed you for a long time. I don't love pulled pork like that you make yourself. I love it at restaurants, obviously, but this stuff tastes just like if you were at a restaurant. It is so, so good. So that's something, and you all you have to do is heat it up for six minutes in the microwave and it's done. Then you can see I have my treats, so I'll survive. But that's just kind of how we're doing it. We've got stuff here in the freezer, but I just try to make stuff up. I make a lot of it so then I don't have to cook. We're looking at the pictures we had made real fast. I'm not gonna show you all of them because I'll have to use them on my Instagram and stuff, but we finally have pictures where George is in them. Aww. Look how good he did. Go and go to the next one. Aww, look at that. I'm gonna print it off and have that one framed, but he did really well for the most part. <laughs> he looks good, you can tell he's trying to get away. <laughs> I know, we're like, no. Okay guys, it's a lot later, it's 6.50. We just have not been doing much. Well, I've been doing a lot of laundry, so I wanna show you how it's looking. Laundry is a finally caught up, everything's done in here. Um, I've been putting a lot of it away. I have to fold, this is probably about three loads worth of laundry, I have to fold that. But, I wanted to show you in here. I got it done, it feels so good. Like I said, I have to fold this, but I'll do it later tonight with Chase and it'll go fast because that one whole thing is just nothing but towels. Um, so that'll be super quick. We had dinner, but we were just heating up leftovers. Um, both of the boys went and played out in the mud. So we had to give them both baths and then I had to blow dry both of them. Otherwise it smells like wet dog in this house. So that took a long time. And then we've just been watching the news and you know, staying up to date. Take you out here and see what they're doing. What's going on? What's happening out here? Starting to mist a little bit. Oh, it's a little chilly. It is 52 degrees. Savannah's been taking pictures with one of my other cameras. Yes. She's doing really good. Yeah, really good photos. yeah, you're getting really good at taking those pictures. She actually uses that thing better than me. <laughs> She's doing really well. We set it up to transfer the uh, pictures to her phone via what Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Yeah. So we so, didn't even learn how to do yeah. that whenever we were. No, here. I'm like, I wish we would have known that when I was trying to do like thumbnails because that would have been nice. That but I just nice. use my. I we're just, just munching on apples over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting some fruit in us. I was explaining them. Here, the front's turning green here. I was showing them the backyard, and yeah. it looks like our neighbor's grass is super green and ours is dead, but I was explaining it's theirs is weeds. Oh, yeah, exactly. And, like, you can kind of see over here. Theirs is weeds. Yeah, you can but see the difference. the green is coming. It's coming through. It's just too wet for me to mow for about Oh, yeah. A month. It's, like, mush. Like, super, super mushy. I just changed the oil in the, uh... I changed the oil and the oil filter and the mower too. I think I jumped the gun on it because now I'm going to be waiting another <laughs> Well, it's just getting so um, warm and then all of a sudden yeah. it stopped. You're super dark. I don't know why. Well, I'll do you guys want to go ahead and end this for me? Yes. Sure. Okay. Um, okay. What um, did we say? I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. It's been fun. We like spending these days with you, mm -hmm. especially during the uh, quarantine days. And then what's the last thing I say? We'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Nailed it. Good job. <laughs>